If you are someone striving to be Christ-like, what does that look like in your daily life? How can we model our lives to be faithful servants of the Lord, doing everything in our power to please Jesus Christ? Let's consider what Proverbs 1 verse 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, fools despise wisdom and instruction. The fear of God motivates godly behavior, leading one to repent and pursue a holy life, and keeping one on the straight and narrow. When you fear God, you don't take sin lightly, knowing that God is holy and pure and does not tolerate unrighteousness and impurity. I want to pray with everyone who desires to turn their life around. As I pray, my hope is that the Holy Spirit will move and anoint this message, touching your heart and impressing the reality of Jesus Christ upon your mind. My desire is for the Lord to bless this prayer so that it will be received by willing hearts. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Notice how God instructs his people to humble themselves, pray, seek his face, and turn from their wicked ways. This is how you can turn your life around, humble yourself, surrender to the Lord, and acknowledge that you cannot do life on your own strength, you need Jesus. In 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, the Bible tells us to humble ourselves because we need to come to a place where we are willing to serve Jesus Christ, the body of Christ, and his kingdom. The second point is to pray and seek his face. Psalm 42 verse 1 says, As a deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. There needs to be a longing and yearning for God in your heart. The Lord wants his children to pray and seek his face, meaning don't just come with a list of requests, but take time to commune with him and build a relationship with him. The Bible tells us in Matthew 6 verse 33, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. God wants us to seek him first. The third point is that we should turn from our wicked ways. Our God is holy, and he has called us to be separate from the world, meaning we ought not to engage in the sinful practices of this world. If you desire to turn your life around, do it as God has prescribed in 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, humble yourself, pray and seek his face, and turn from your wicked ways. The Bible also says in 1 Peter 2 verse 21, to this you were called because Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example, that you should follow in his steps. Christ suffered and left us an example so that we should follow in his footsteps. The Amplified Translation for Luke 9 verse 23 says, And he was saying to them all, If anyone wishes to follow me as my disciple, he must deny himself, set aside selfish interests, and take up his cross daily expressing a willingness to endure whatever may come, and follow me. Taking up your cross daily means being immersed in the things of God daily, devoted to building a relationship with the Lord daily. This looks like prayer, as Jesus prayed often, finding quiet places to pray. The disciples never asked Jesus to teach them how to perform miracles or preach, they asked him how to pray because prayer is fundamental for a relationship with God. When you pray, you're setting aside your selfish interests and giving the Lord your undivided attention. Further traits of a real follower of Jesus Christ are serving wholeheartedly and doing everything to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 says, Therefore, whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Serve for the glory of Jesus Christ, whether you're singing, serving as an usher, or performing any other task in God's kingdom. Have hearts that seek for the goodness of God to be demonstrated in your lives. Now let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, all glory belongs to you. 
All honor belongs to you. We are praying because we need you, Lord. We need your love and grace. Help us to serve for your glory, to take up our cross daily, and forsake the pleasures of this world. Fill our hearts with the fear of the Lord so that we can pursue you above all else. We look to you for direction and counsel. We choose to lean on you rather than our own understanding. Give us an attitude of humility and a servant's heart. May we decrease as the glory of the Lord increases, and the name of Jesus is lifted higher and higher. Your word says in Psalm 34 verse 2, My soul shall make its boast in the Lord, the humble shall hear of it and be glad. Teach us to boast in you and you alone. Help us not to boast in the talents and gifts you've given us, but to boast only in you. In our weakness, we will boast of your strength. Through our difficulties, we will boast of your saving power. Even if we lack worldly possessions, we will boast in your provision. In all that we do, we will boast only in you. Your word says in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58, Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Help us to always be steadfast, immovable, and abounding in the work of the Lord. Let everything we do be for your glory, not our own. Help us to do good works to please you and point others toward your goodness. Forgive us if we ever sought the approval of man above your approval. Teach us to crucify the flesh and humble ourselves. Father, you deserve the highest praise. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, fools despise wisdom and instruction. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. To this you were called because Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example, that you should follow in his steps. He said to them all, If anyone wishes to follow me as my disciple, he must deny himself, set aside selfish interests, and take up his cross daily, expressing a willingness to endure whatever may come, and follow me. Let's carry this message in our hearts and apply it daily. Remember, our ultimate goal is to glorify God in everything we do, whether it's through our actions, our words, or our prayers. Let this prayer guide you and remind you of the importance of living a life that pleases Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching and joining me in prayer. If this message has touched your heart, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with others. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Let's continue to grow together in faith and spread God's love and wisdom to those around us. Your support means the world to me, and I am grateful for each and every one of you. God bless you all.